EA Sports. It's in the game. EA Sports. It's in the game. Hi there everybody, Martin Tyler with you, Alan Smith is also joining me today and it's a game which we're anticipating eagerly I think Alan from the Bundesliga. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. One of the best games I've seen in recent times, it wasn't for the greatest trophy, it was for the German Super Cup actually, and Dortmund beat Bayern 4-2 but you know, it could have been easily 4-2 the other way, it was spellbinding and I hope we get to yeah, anything a tenth as good today would be satisfying. Yeah, remember that one well, Martin Jurgen Klopp leading them with so much charisma, Dortmund, and I think this one has got the hallmarks of another classic match. Everyone's going to have a look at Borussia Dortmund. Well, there are a lot of expectations at this club. I think many people feel they can end the season as champions, and uh, we might get a little glimpse of that today. I know there's a long way to go and the players aren't fit, but uh, they have got some good, really talented players out there. This is the Borussia Dortmund lineup. In goal, Roman Berkey. Mark Bartra plays with Socrates Papastatopoulos in central defence. Gonzalo Castro plays with Nuri Shahin in the centre of the park. And at the point of attack, just one lone striker. Bayern 
Munich's lineup. Sven Ulreich plays in goal. Rafinha starts with David Alaba as the fullbacks. Arturo Vidal starts with Thiago in central midfield. Robert Lewandowski is the main striker today. Whoever is the coach of Borussia Dortmund, the passion and the nature and the DNA of this uh, real working man's club is uh, it's special, it's very special indeed. Well, it's one of my favourite European grounds. You come here on a European night and it's just wonderful. That yellow wall behind the goal, it's a sight to see. Yasha Zurheide is today's referee. Hello everyone, Martin Tyler here, Alan Smith with me as usual. A big welcome to you to today's game. One of the best games I've seen in recent times. It wasn't for the greatest trophy, it was for the German Super Cup actually, and Dortmund beat Bayern 4-2, but you know, could have been easily 4-2 the other way. It was spellbinding. I hope we get to anything a tenth as good today would be satisfying. Yeah, remember that one by Martin Jurgen Klopp leading them with so much charisma, Dortmund and I think this one has got the hallmarks of another classic match. I mean, it don't get the domestic opposition that, say, uh, Premier League teams do in trying to win titles. I just wonder whether they would benefit if somehow there was more competition for them in Germany. Well, it's a fair point because it is difficult to, you know, raise your game by a couple of notches, which they might have to do from the weekend to the midweek. But having said that, they've done pretty well in the uh, last few years in Europe. Well, they do cram the fans in here, and it is the biggest stadium in Germany. I think it's the seventh largest in Europe as well, so it tells you what the potential is. And uh, at times in recent years, the Rich Dortmund have really used that potential to their advantage. Well, they've had some fantastic teams here to, to grace this stadium, and under Jurgen Klopp, they've got the better of Bayern Munich a couple of times in league football and produced some great players coming through the ranks too. Will be their throw. I think the uh, manager's decided he wants to let the player have a great individual reception, which he wouldn't get at the final whistle. He's uh, getting an ovation now as the substitution is made. Yeah, and well deserved too. A strong contender for man of the match. He's going to trust his goalkeeper's footwork here with a back pass. This could be danger. Could be the winner. What a goal! And what a time to get it! This is a competition famed for its late goals. We may well have witnessed a really important one here. They are in front, and very little time to go. Well, we were about to describe the final moments here as a draw, but we've got a winner now, a fantastic late, late goal. Well, you have to think that it is a winner as well, Martin. Very little time now for the opposition to come back. Exciting climax to an exciting game. This could be the decision. How they do now in the second half. Hummels. Frank Ribery. Marcel Schmelzer. Mark Batra. Peace check. Obama Young! And it's an equalising goal here. It is uh, level. Both sides have scored here now. Game. This could be the decider. Well, it could be at this stage of the match. There doesn't seem much of an opportunity to come back. I think that could be decisive. That's it, there goes the final whistle, and the final score is 1-0. When you look at those the shots, the stats, have they stolen the win here? Well, they have, but they've also got better strikers on form, as opposed to the other team, I thought. They didn't believe in themselves when they got into goal-scoring situations. Well, this was a case of two heavyweights really going at it, hammer and tongs, and the home advantage perhaps was the key element 
Two very good teams, though, but well played the hosts. No, really good game, actually. Not too much to separate the sides, and uh, everybody goes home happy. I think certainly the supporters do anyway. Well, the 90 minutes have been played plus the added time, and we're still level. It's good progress with this attack. Lewandowski! Very good stop here. Trust his goalkeeper's footwork here with a back pass. This could be danger. Could be the winner. 